Okay guys, so I'm gonna do another quick tutorial set. I'm gonna start it tonight and hopefully finish it out through the next week. There's a lot of NPC ones out there, but through this one, I'm gonna show you how to add standalone customized, standalone custom hair, and actually a few little tricks I never see in different ones. They're really not tricks. I just, again, things I don't know why people do it. The first thing you wanna do is go into character assets. Uh, so go into data, your data folder, common, uh, Skyrim, data. You want to go into your texture sets. Uh, this is before you start up the creation kit. Very important because sometimes you can't export face gen. So go into character, character assets, take a tint mask and pull them right out. Okay. So we're going to set this down. We're going to start up the CK. And I'll probably just fast forward for when this, till we get to this is all open. Okay. So we got it opened up. Uh, what I did was I just used Skyrim and Skyrim update them two there. I'm going to save it now and I'm going to name it uh, custom NPC. Whoops, I got my cap locks on. Let me put that back. I don't know why I'm a custom NPC. And I put, I'm going to put a zero there. That way it's at the top of the list when I do want to pull it out. So I'm going to save that there. So now it's going to save it down. And now we're going to go into actress. We're going to go new and we're going to create an NPC in a different way that you might not have seen one created. So we'll call it AAA. Uh, Custom NPC 01. And then we'll give the name Janet. I don't know. First names is coming to my mind. So, anyways, so we'll hit. I'll hit unique and essential. I'll hit OK to, to get it set in there. Then I'll open it back up. Now, one of the things I like to do is if you want to take the features of another NPC sometimes. So I'm going to do that in this. If I hit LSF, which we know who Elisif is. If I hit Elisif, Elisif, so it brings her up, then I hit, just click Use Traits. Then I undo the Use Traits. Okay, now she's Nord Race, female, 50 pounds. We're gonna put her down to 30, make her skinnier. Uh, female, young, all that crap. We're gonna hit Stats real quick. I'm gonna change this to, let's say a Combat Assassin. Oops, almost got it. Because we're gonna have her dual wielding. This here, I'm going to put to 1.5. I'm going to change this to PC multiple level. There we go. 1.5. Minimum 20. Maximum 100. So this will allow her to level up as you go. Factions. I'm going to show you something quick on the faction. So we're going to go, instead of trying to figure each one out, if we want to make her a follower, we're going to go to Uthgird. So we open up Uthgird's real quick. And we open up her factions, and let's just copy the stack. Then hit cancel, so it doesn't alter that one at all. Then paste these ones in here. Remove the white run faction. Remove everything but those three. Now we're going to add one, which is going to be a crime faction for world interaction, which basically is a generic one for the world, right? So we go down to here, WI crime, uh, generic crime faction. So there you go. Uh, next thing we're going to do before we open it up, because she's going to be naked, and that's not good for YouTube from what I hear. Uh, we'll put a, just blades, no helmet, anything on her right there. A weapon, we'll just put an ebony sword. We'll put two, because we're going to make her dual wielding. This is going to go by quick before I get to the eyes. We'll give her two daggers. Two daggers. I like to give them a torch, too, so they always have, have one on them. There's the torch. So now we get everything here. And now we're going to bring her up to look at her. So now we got what is an Elisif lookalike, but a little bit skinnier. So now we're going to go to AI data. We're going to change this to ag aggressive, this to brave, this to helps allies. We'll put our energy up to about 70. And we're going to go this to, uh, let's know it when I see it. Uh, Force one berserker that'll make her a uh, dual wielding attacker. So now we want to go to the gen morph. So we got lips the way we want it. Let's say we wanted to change the eyes a little bit to something else. I don't know. Let's see to make her look a little now. I hate those friggin' eyes. Look like she smelt a fart or something. Uh, five there. We'll just give her now. I like the eyes she had. We're just going to keep her looking like that. You can change that as you go. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go over to here. 
we're gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna add some heavy lipstick just to overgenerate it. Let's go with black, just to give it that black lipstick look. You gotta hit this to show that again. There's some black lipstick. The eyes we're not gonna do yet because we're gonna do something different. Let's give her some eyeshadow. Let's go black on the eyeshadow. Let's make her kind of goth, I guess, right? Skin tone, she's at white, but let's select white and lighten her up a little bit. That really lightens her up almost like a vampire. And we'll change some black eyeliner. That's okay. That should be all set there. There we go. So now we're going to, now we're going to get to the eyes. So we want to go to head parts. And we want to hit, type in eyes up here. Eye. And let's, let's just look for eye human. Light blue. That one's fine. Uh, duplicate it. And then go up into here and change it to anything you want. Let's change it to a, a, a eyes of one. And then let's put this to eyes of one. That's all you need here. It's going to be playable for female. So hit OK, create new form. Because we duplicated, we don't need to do so. No and yes. So the next thing we need to do is go down to texture sets. Now, before we get to texture sets, we're going to go here to Eyes of eyes of eyes on Nexus. I like uh, his because he gave permissions to use them as long as it's not a mod that's being sold. I've already downloaded this and unpacked it, but what I do like about this in here is he has a list of the different eyes. So we want something that's going to stand out for this video. Um, what are we thinking? I obviously can't hear you guys. So we, let's go with the Ira eyes. That looks crazy, a little bit crazy, right? So. I downloaded it already and already unpacked it in downloads with uh, 7-Zip. So we got to go into here, into the textures, and look for, is that? No, we'll go with Ira. So scroll down through and find the Ira right there. Copy this. Whoops, no cut. Copy it. Okay, now you're going to want to go into your data folder. And then you're going to want to go into textures. Now, I have already added, uh, you know what, I'll just do it again. So we'll go a new folder. And we'll name this AAA Custom NPC, right? So that one's done there. Now we're going to go into the Custom APC, NPC folder, create another new one. I'm going to call this one eyes. Now, the reason I'm creating a folder in a folder is if I wanted to add hair textures, which I'm going to in a future one, to the same NPC, so you can add standalone hair, standalone eyes, it's all in the same folder with subfolders and all that stuff. So I'm going to paste the Ira one in here. So now we have that. Now we want to go down to miscellaneous texture sets. Let's find a human eye texture set which I'm sure for some reason I'm right there on it. Oh, right there. It doesn't matter which one it is. Bright, uh, they're all going to say male. It doesn't matter because it's just a texture. So we're going to duplicate that. We'll go into here and we're going to name this AAA Ira Eyes. Okay, and then we're going to edit this. We want to go into our data folder from here. And go down to textures, where we just made that folder. Open the folder up. Go into eyes. Choose Ira. And you will actually see it change right here. Now we're gonna, don't, we duplicated it. No new form. Go back up to here. To the head parts. We should have an AAA at the top. Now go into here. Texture set. Go up top. You'll find the Ira eyes. That's done. Now we're going to go back to the NPC. Oh, let's save it. Get a little ahead of ourselves. And AAA, I can't remember, yep, custom NPC. Let's open this back up with her and we can add the eyes. It's going to be down below, right here. So now this is no longer, it's in part of your mod. So it's gonna look a kind of crazy, but that's what we wanna do. We want it to stand out so you get the idea of what's going on. So we're gonna close her out like that we're going to save her. Then we hit Control F4 to export the gen data. Wait for that to click OK. Hit OK. Done. 
save it. Now we're going to put her in the game. So let's put her in somewhere in Whiterun. Let's put her in the Whiterun Temple. That shouldn't be a lot of people in there. Uh, what is it though? Something of Kinnereth or something like that, right? There, there we go. Let's open that up. This one's usually not a lot of things going on in here. So we'll drag her in. And there we go. All right. So we're going to save that. And we're going to close out the creation kit. And we got one more thing to do before we go into game. All right. Now, before we go in, I need you to go back in. I need you to go to data, textures, actors, character, character assets. And you're going to drag the tint mask back in. Okay, the tint mask will stop the face gems for generating a lot of the times. Now that that's done, now we're going to go into game and we're going to check out our NPC and see what she looks like. So we're in the game. We're going to go to the temporal Kinnereth, and we're going to check this NPC out. And, uh, should be right here. Okay, there you go. What can I do for you? Now you can see the eyes, how they're different, and the follower. Is our, mm -hmm. The thing is already on there if you hit, uh, so it was a friend, which we'll figure that out later. Right now, we're just starting with customizing, okay? You, the next tutorial, that's a standalone customizer you could upload with your mod. Next one will be hair. I hope you guys have a good night. Close, and it made